Hello and welcome to 1969 Baseball. Today we have got game one of a doubleheader on Sunday against the San Diego Padres. This is the finale of the Cubs and Padres series as this doubleheader will be games three and four of the series. The Cubs coming in on a six game winning streak and continuing to climb in the National League East standings. Now for today's game, in game one, the Cubs are going to be sending Bill Hands out to the mound. He is making start number 10 with a 3-3 three three record, 240 ERA, and a 121 whip. Hands will have a lineup of Gosger, Becker, Williams, Santo, Blomberg, Hundley, Kessinger, Banks, and the pitcher Hands batting ninth. The Padres are going to send right-hander Al Santorini out to the mound. He is making start number 6 with a 2-3 and three record, 221 ERA, and a 123 whip. And the Padres lineup today will be Brown, Gonzalez, Colbert, Ferreira, Pagan, Pena, Davinon, Canizaro, and the pitcher Santorini batting ninth. It is 68 degrees and the wind is blowing left to right at 8 MPH. And it is time to get this game underway. As we say, see the Padres going out to take the field, Jim Gosger steps up into the left-handed biting box for the Cubs. One and two is the count. Cubs coming in with a record of 21 and 23, fourth place in the East, while the Padres carry a record of seven and 37. Cubs on a six game winning streak are facing the Padres, who are on a seven-game losing streak. Now, Gosger is at the plate, facing Santorini, who is on the mound. Here is the pitch, and there's a grounder toward first. Picked up and stepping on the base is the first baseman, Colbert. That'll be out number one. Beckert now the batter, one out, nobody on. Santorini making the 2-2 pitch. And Beckert grounds that one to short. This time picked up by the shortstop, thrown over to first, and that is out number two. Billy Williams now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Santorini facing Williams. First pitch on the way. Williams popping it up the opposite way to left field. The left fielder is going to make the catch and end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. We go to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. Ollie Brown now batting for the Padres here in the bottom of the first inning. Hands on the mound, working with a 3-1 and one count. And here is the pitch from Bill Hands. And that is inside. It's ball four, and Brown drawing the leadoff walk. I'm pretty sure Brown, ah, he's average speed. Hands is not very good at holding runners. However, we are going to try a throw over to first and see if we can catch him napping. So, Hands now facing Gonzalez. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a liner in right field, that's going to be a base hit. Rounding second and heading for, oh, stopping is Brown. So that'll be a single, which puts runners on first and second with nobody out. And now Colbert is the batter. Facing hands with two men on here in the bottom of the first inning. One and two count. Bill Hands delivering the pitch. And a liner in the center field coming in fast is Gosger. He makes the catch, and that's out number one. Nice reaction to get in, get up on that ball and make the play. And now Ferrara is the batter. One out, two men on. Ferrara waiting for the 1-1 pitch. Hands delivering. And there's a pop-up in foul territory. Santo chasing, Hundley chasing. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Next up is Pagan. Two outs, two men on. Pagan facing hands with a one strike count. Hands delivering the pitch. And a liner up the middle. That's a base hit. Is this going to drive the, drive in the run? Gosger throws home. Brown coming home. He is going to be safe at home. So the Padres take the one nothing lead on the Pagan RBI single. And now Peña is the batter. Two outs, two men on. Hands working with a two strike count. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder toward short. Kessinger has it. He flips to Beckert at second, which will end the inning. So the Padres score once on two hits. We go to the top of the second of a 1-0 ball game. Santo leading off against Santorini. 
here in the top of the second inning. Santorini, probably just a longer version of the name Santo. So here's the 1-1 count and the pitch to Ron Santo. And he's going to line that one into center field. That'll drop in for a leadoff single. The center fielder plays it on a hop, gets it back into the cutoff man. And next up is Blomberg. Runner on first, nobody out. Here's the one ball count and the pitch to Blomberg. And he's going to ground that one back toward the mound. The pitcher has it. Throwing over to first, Blomberg speeding down the line. He's going to beat that out for an infield single. So the Cubs now with first and second, nobody out. And Randy Hundley is the batter. Cubs trying to rally here in the second inning. Santorini facing Hundley. Two and one is the count. And Hundley grounds that one to short. The throw goes to second. There is no relay to first, however. And so the Padres get the fielder's choice. Davenon apparently gets hurt at second base, but he's going to stay in the game. So now Kessinger is up. He's facing Santorini with one out and runners on the corners here in the top of the second inning. Cubs trying to break through with their first run of the ball game. Here's an 0-2 pitch to Kessinger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Kessinger goes down swinging, second out of the inning. And now Ernie Banks is the batter. Two outs, runners on the corners. Cub down, Cubs down by one. Santorini delivering the one and two pitch. And here it comes. And there's a drive, deep left center field, but that's going to be playable. The center fielder is going to get there, and he'll... Oh, and he drops it! He drops it! And Banks is going to be safe at second on the error. The run scores. And now, this is a tie ball game. So Hundley advances to third. Santo scores. And now Bill Hands is the batter. The error gives the Cubs their first run of the ball game. So Banks is on second, Hands the batter. Here is the first pitch, and Hands is going to pop that one up to center. Coming in the center fielder, again looking up, and this time he makes the play to end the inning. So the Cubs score one on the error. We go to the bottom of the second of a 1-1 ball game. Davenon facing Hands here in the bottom of the second inning. One strike count. Here comes the pitch. And there's a pop-up to right. Blomberg chasing toward the corner. He looks up and puts it away for out number one. Canizaro now the batter. One out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one is the count. Hands delivering the pitch. And there's a liner in the center field. That'll be a base hit. Gosger fields it, gets it back into the cutoff man. One out single for Canizaro. And now the pitcher Santorini is the batter. Sacrifice situation here in the bottom of the second inning. Here is the first pitch. Lays down the bunt right in front of the plate. Hundley pops up, throwing it down to first. That'll be two outs in the inning. The runner advances to second as Santorini is retired. And now Ollie Brown is the batter. He drew a walk his first time up. Hands working with a runner on second, two outs. Here's the full count pitch. And that is ball four. So the runner stays at second. Brown is issued the walk, and now Gonzalez is the batter. Two outs, two men on. Hands trying to end this inning. Another full count pitch. And that's a pop-up to short center field. Gosger coming in fast. He looks up and makes the catch to end the inning. So the Padres strand two. We go to the top of the third of a 1-1 tie. Gosger now going to lead off for the Cubs again here in the top of the third inning. 2-0 count. Gosger waiting for the pitch. And he drives that one into left center field. On the run is the center fielder, Gonzalez, and he makes the catch for out number one. Glenn Beckert now the batter. One out, nobody on. Beckert waiting for the 1-1 pitch. Here's the delivery. And a drive into left center field. Very high and playable as the center fielder, Gonzalez, makes the catch again for out number two. Billy Williams now batting. Two outs, nobody on. Williams waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. And there's a liner into center field. That'll be a single for Billy Williams with two outs. Cubs now have a runner on first. Next up is the Cubs' Ron Santo. With a runner on first and two outs here in the top of the third inning. Santo facing Santorini. Here is the pitch. And Santo's going to drive that one into center field. That'll drop in for another base hit. 
Williams rounding second and stopping. And now the Cubs have first and second with two outs. So the next batter is Blomberg. He's one for one today. Coming up with two outs and two men on. Santorini facing Blomberg with one strike count. Here is the pitch. And he's going to pop that one up to short left field. Oh, I'm sorry. Pop it up on the infield. The shortstop drops it, though. And everybody's safe. That pops out of his glove. And the runners are all safe. And now the Cubs have the bases loaded, sending Randy Hundley up to bat. Second error of the game for the Padres. And now Santorini facing Hundley with a 1-2 and two count. Hundley waiting for the pitch. And that's a ground ball over to third. Picked up, thrown over to first, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs leave the bases loaded. They are not able to capitalize on the error. We go to the bottom of the third of a 1-1 ball game. Colbert facing hands here in the bottom of the third inning. Two and one is the count. Bill Hands delivering the pitch. And he'll drive into center field, adjusting his Gosger. He makes the catch. That's out number one. Ferrara now the batter. One out, nobody on. Two, two is the count. Hands delivering the pitch. And that is strike three called right on the corner. And now Pagan the batter. That's the first strike out of the game for Bill Hands. Hands facing Pagan with two outs and nobody on. Two ball count. Here is the pitch. And a liner in the center field. That'll be a base hit. So a two out single for Pagan as he stops at first and brings up Pena. Two outs, one man on. Hands facing Pena with a one and two count. And a grounder right in front of the plate. The catcher picks it up, throws to first, and that'll end the inning. So the Padres strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the fourth of a 1 1 ball game. Santorini facing Kessinger here in the top of the fourth inning. 2-2 two, two is the count. Kessinger waiting for the pitch. Santorini delivers. And there's a drive into the gap in left center field. Kessinger's going to have extra bases. He's rounding first, heading for second. He is going to slide into second with a leadoff double. So the Cubs have a runner in scoring position with nobody out here in the top of the fourth inning. The next batter up will be Ernie Banks. Nobody out, one man on. Santorini facing Banks with a 1-1 count. Here is the pitch to Ernie Banks, and he'll drive that one on the ground toward the first baseman. Colbert picks it up, steps on the base, and that'll be out number one. However, the runner Kessinger advances to third. And now, Hands is the batter. Kessinger is on third, and we are going to try the safety squeeze right here. Let's see how this works out. One ball count. The bunt is down. Back toward the mound. The throw comes home. And the runner is... Let's see the call. Kessinger is safe. So the squeeze play is successful. And the Cubs have a 2-1 to one lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Hands now is on first. And Gosger's the batter. One out, one man on. Here is the first pitch to Jim Gosger and a pop-up behind second base. The shortstop going over. He makes the catch for out number two. Glenn Beckert now batting. He's 0 for 2 today with two outs and hands on first. Here's a 1-1 count and a grounder to third. A hot smash. The throw goes over to second, and the lead runner's retired to end the inning. The Cubs score a run and take a 2-1 lead into the bottom of the fourth. Hands facing Davinon here in the bottom of the fourth inning. One and two is the count, hands delivering the pitch. Grounder toward third, Santo dives, he picks it up, the throw over to first and beats him by a step for out number one. Canizaro now the batter. He is one for one today, facing hands with one out, nobody on. Here's a two and one pitch from Bill Hands and he's gonna ground that one to third. Santo again picking this one up but staying on his feet, he throws to first, that's out number two. Santorini, the pitcher, now is the batter. Two outs and nobody on. 1-1 one, one count. Santorini waiting for the pitch. And a grounder to second. Beckert has this one. He throws to first. And that'll end the inning. So Hands retires him in order. We go to the top of the fifth of a 2-1 ball game. Billy Williams leading off for the Cubs in the top of the fifth inning. 1-1 one, one count. Williams waiting for the pitch. Ground ball to first. Picked up by Colbert. He steps on the base and that's out number one. Ron Santo, the batter now. One out, nobody on base. Three and one is the count. Santo waiting for the pitch. 
and he takes ball four low. So that'll put him on first with Blomberg coming up next. Blomberg one for two today. Facing Santorini with one out, one man on. One, one count. Two to one ball game. Here's the pitch. There's a liner into left field. A diving play, however. Ferrara hustles and makes an excellent defensive play. That looked like it was headed for the gap. But it's instead out number two. Randy Hundley now is the batter. Two outs and the runner on first. Full count pitch to Randy Hundley. And here it comes. And a liner into right field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Santo was running as it was a full count with two outs. And he's going to go first to third on that base hit. So Hundley, with his first hit of the ball game, brings up Kessinger. Runners on the corners with two outs. Cubs trying to add to this 2-1 lead. Here's an 0-2 pitch to Don Kessinger. And he's going to pop it up in foul territory. Chasing is the catcher. He will make the play to end the inning. So the Cubs leave two. We go to the bottom of the fifth of a 2-1 Cub lead. Ollie Brown leading off for the Padres in the bottom of the fifth inning. Hands working with a 1-2 and two count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Second strikeout of the game for Bill Hands. And now Gonzalez is the batter. One out, nobody on base. Here is the first pitch from Hands. And a grounder up the middle. Second baseman Beckert has it. He throws over to first. That'll be out number two. Colbert now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. One and two is the count. Hands delivering the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. And Bill Hands strikes him out swinging. So we are going now to the top of the sixth inning. It is still 2-1 to one in favor of Chicago. Ernie Banks going to lead off for the Cubs in the top of the sixth, waiting for the first pitch from Santorini. And a liner into left field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Ernie Banks with a leadoff single here in the top of the sixth inning. And Hands now is the batter. And we are going to see the wheels start turning because in this particular situation, no, it's not going to be him. Herman Hill is going to be brought in to pinch run for Ernie Banks as the Cubs are looking for an insurance run here in the top of the sixth. We're going to try, let's see here. We should really be trying to bunt with hands up at the plate. But we're going to try to steal second first. So let's see, first pitch, the runner goes. Oh, he hesitates. And he goes back to the base. So the pitch is low. That's ball one. Well, let's give him the opportunity to try to lay down the bunt on this one. Hands waiting for the next pitch. The bunt is laid down right in front of the plate. Beautifully executed. The throw goes to first, and that is out number one. The runner, Hill, easily advances to second. And now, Gosger is the batter. He's 0 for 3 today. He's facing Santorini with a runner in scoring position and one out. And we're going to try a run and hit on the first pitch. Let's see what happens. Runner goes. The throw goes down to third. He does not. And Hill is out. He's out attempting to steal third. So that's the second out of the inning. Canizaro has thrown out six base runners in 24 attempts this season. So Gosger now batting with two outs and nobody on. One ball count, here's the pitch to Gosger, and he's gonna drive that one into the gap and right center field, that's going all the way to the wall. That would have driven in the run. So stopping at second with a double is Gosger, and he is going to be in scoring position as the next batter, Beckert, will come up. So Glenn Beckert now the batter. Gosger on, on second, two outs. Here's the one ball count, the pitch to Beckert, and that one gets away. It's going all the way to the backstop, and Gosger is going to advance down to third. So a 2-0 count to Beckert now. Here is the next pitch, and he's going to drive that one past the second baseman in right field. That'll drive in the run. So the Cubs score a run anyway and take a 3-1 lead here in the top of the sixth inning. That's an RBI single for Glenn Beckert, his 14th RBI on the season. Billy Williams now is the batter. Two outs, runner on first. Here's the first pitch to Billy Williams, and he's going to put that one on the ground towards second, and then error, the second baseman kicks it, and the, there's no out. Williams is safe. Beckert is safe. Santo is now the batter. He's two for two today. 
off Santorini. That's the third error of the game for the Padres. Santo facing Santorini with two outs and two men on here in the top of the sixth inning. 2-2 two -two is the count. And a drive center field going back is the center fielder, Gonzalez, and he'll make the catch to end the inning. So the Cubs score once. They take a 3-1 lead into the bottom of the sixth inning. And now we're going to have Wes Parker come in and play first base for the remainder of this ball game. Bill Hands coming out on the mound to throw the bottom of the sixth inning. He is working with a one and two count. Ferrara the batter. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Hands gets his third strike out of the day. Fourth strike out of the day, excuse me. And it brings up Jose Pagan. One out, nobody on. Pagan waiting for the first pitch from Hands. And there's a grounder towards short. Kessinger has it. He throws over to first. That is out number two. Pena now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. One ball count to Pena. Here is the pitch. And a pop-up to right. Blomberg chasing toward the line. He will put it away for out number three. So the Cubs retire the Padres in order. We're going to the top of the seventh of a three-to-one ball game. Blomberg, who is one for three today, facing off against Santorini in the top of the seventh inning. One strike count. Blomberg leading off for the Cubs. And there's a drive into the gap in right center field. That's going all the way to the wall. Blomberg rounding first, heading for extra bases. He's going to slide into second with a lead-off double. Nice piece of hitting right there by Blomberg. And now the next batter is going to be Hundley. He is one for three today. We're going to put on the pitch-by-pitch pitch and see if we can find a spot to steal with Blomberg here. Swing away at the first pitch there, Randy Hundley. Let's see what he gets. And that's a fast ball for strike one. So now, with a breaking pitch likely coming, we're going to try to do a straight steal of third. Here's the one strike count. The runner goes. The throw goes down to third. And Blomberg is out. Canazaro throws out another base runner. Is he really that good? I mean, I guess so. Uh, whatever. Two base runners thrown out at third in this ball game now. Hundley batting with two outs and nobody on. With one out and a full count and nobody on base. Hundley now driving that one into left field. That'll be a base hit. So Hundley is going to stop at first with a single. And the next batter up is going to be Kessinger. One out, runner on first. Kessinger facing Santorini with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. And Kessinger pops it up to center. The center fielder, Gonzalez, is adjusting, and he will make the catch for out number two. Parker now the batter. Two outs and nobody on, or runner on first. Here's a full count pitch to Parker. The runner goes, and that's a looper into left field. That's going to be played on a hop, and he will have a two-out single. The runner... Hundley is going to advance first to third, and it brings up the pitcher hands. Now with two outs and runners on the corner, Santa Rita facing hands here in the top of the seventh inning. 1-1 one, one count. Hands trying to help his own cause, and he's going to drive that one on the ground towards second. Throw over to first will end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. They leave runners on the corners. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's time to stretch here in San Diego of a 3-1 ball game. Hands now facing Davinon in the bottom of the seventh inning. One strike count. Hands delivering the pitch. And Davinon hits it on the ground. Parker picks it up. Throws to the pitcher covering. And the throw is late. Hands was late covering the base. And now the Padres have the leadoff man on base. And Canizaro is the batter. He's one for two today. Hands working with a one ball count. He needs a ground ball right here. Here it comes. And there's a liner in the center field. That's another base hit. Center fielder has it. He throws over to third. Gosger trying to throw out the runner advancing. And Davinon slides safely into third. So the Padres now have runners on the corners. Nobody out in the bottom of the seventh inning. And this is going to require somebody to get up in the bullpen. So it's going to have to be Diego Segui. All right, we're going to visit the mound. Hand says he feels great. Now, Van Kelly is the pinch hitter for the Padres in the pitcher's spot. 
here in the bottom of the seventh inning. He comes up with runners on the corners and nobody out. Hands working his way out of a jam right here. One strike count. Here's the pitch. And there's a grounder to second. Beckert has it. He throws to first to get the sure out. The run is conceded, and this is now a 3-2 to two ball game. And now Brown comes up to bat. The run scores on the fielder's choice. There's now one out and the runner in scoring position. Ollie Brown is 0 for 1 today. He's facing hands with one out and one man on. Here's a one and two count. Hands delivering the pitch. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So that'll be a slider for the strikeout. Fifth of the day for Bill Hands. Next up is Gonzalez with two outs and the runner on first. And we are going to... No, we're going to pitch to Gonzalez. With two outs and the runner on first, we don't really want to get to Colbert because he's got more home runs than practically the rest of the lineup put together. Hands facing Gonzalez, two outs, one man on. First pitch to Gonzalez, here it comes. And a drive into the gap in right center field. That's going all the way to the wall. This is gonna tie up the ball game. Rounding third and heading home to score is Canizaro. And now the Padres have scored twice to make this a tie ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. So our Tony Gonzalez has the RBI triple and Bill Hand's day is gonna have to be over. Diego Segui is warmed up, he's ready in the bullpen. So he is gonna come in to pitch in relief of Hand. Segui has thrown 27 in the third inning, 16 walks, 24 strikeouts, and a 2.96 ERA. He's gonna face Colbert with two outs and the runner on third here in the bottom of the seventh inning. He's gonna try to preserve the tie here for the Cubs. Segui looking to deliver the first pitch to Colbert. And there's a grounder to second. Beckert has it. He throws over to first, and that'll end the inning. So the game remains tied. We go to the top of the eighth of a 3-3 ball game. Gosger is going to face the new Padre reliever, Jack Baldschen, here in the top of the eighth inning. Baldschen has a 1-4 record, 22 innings pitch, 15 walks, 14 strikeouts, and a 6.95 ERA. He is going to face the top of the Cub lineup in the top of the eighth inning. Gosger swinging away with a 2-2 count. Looking for the sign. And here is the delivery. And a pop up to center. Heading over toward right center field is Gonzalez. And he makes the catch for out number one. Glenn Beckert now the batter. 2-2 count. Beckert waiting for the pitch. Here it comes. And a liner into center field. Long run and a diving play as Gonzalez makes an excellent defensive effort to make the second out of the inning. Billy Williams now the batter, facing Baldston with two outs and nobody on. Full count pitch to Billy Williams. That is way inside, it is ball four. Billy Williams takes his base. And that brings up Ron Santo with two outs and the runner on first. Santo facing Baldston. Tie game, top of the eighth inning. Here's the one ball count and the pitch to Santo. And he's going to drive that one down the left field line. That's going to be a base hit for Santo. Stopping at second is Billy Williams. And now the Cubs have a two-out rally going here in the top of the eighth inning. Blomberg is the next batter. Two outs, two men on. Game is tied at three. Blomberg waiting for the first pitch. And it gets away. It skips all the way to the backstop. And the runners advance to second and third. So now... The Cubs have the go-ahead run 90 feet away with two outs in the top of the eighth inning. Blomberg facing Baldston with a full count. Runners are going to be moving. Here is the pitch. And strike three is called. So the Cubs strand two. We go to the bottom of the eighth of a 3-3 ball game. Segui facing Ferrara here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's a 2-2 count. And the pitch from Segui. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Segui records the strikeout for the first out of the inning. Jose Pagan is the next batter. He's facing Segui with one out and nobody on. One strike count. Segui delivering the pitch. And there's a pop-up toward the shortstop. It gets over his head in the left field. That's going to be a one-out single. 
So now Pena is the batter with one out, one man on. Segui facing Pena with a full count. Here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Segui gets his second strike out of the inning. It brings up Davinon. Davinon is one for three today. He's facing Segui with two outs and the runner on first. Here's a 1-1 one -one count and the pitch. And a grounder towards short. Kessinger has it. He throws over to first. The runner is retired, and that is the end of the inning. The Padres stranding a runner. We go to the top of the ninth of a 3-3 ball game. Hundley facing Baldschen here in the top of the ninth inning. One strike count. Hundley waiting for the pitch. There's a liner into left field. That'll be a base hit. Hundley has a leadoff single. And now we're going to have to do a couple of things. First off, we're going to warm up another reliever, which is going to be, gosh, I guess it's going to be Britain. The only lefty in the Padres lineup is Gonzalez right now. I suppose they could throw up a lefty for the pinch hitter. But regardless, Britain's going to get warmed up to come into this ballgame. And now we are also going to take Rick Blatt and have him pinch run for Randy Hundley over at first because Blatt is also very speedy. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Kessinger facing Baldston here in the top of the ninth with a runner on first and nobody out. And Kessinger is going to be asked to lay down a bunt right here with Wes Parker coming up next. Here's the first pitch, and he bounces it back toward the third baseman. He picks it up and doesn't throw. Oh, he throws over to first. All right. So Kessinger is retired. He sacrifices Blatt over to second, and now Wes Parker is the batter. With one out and runner in scoring position, Cubs and Padres in a tie ball game. 1-1 one, one count, and Parker lines that one past the first baseman in right field. Blatt is rounding third. He's heading home. The throw comes home. Blatt slides, and he is safe. And the Cubs have a 4-3 lead here in the top of the ninth inning. RBI single by Wes Parker, giving the Cubs the lead. That brings up the pitcher, Diego Segui. And Segui... Let's see here. He's only thrown 17 pitches. I could ask him to lay down a bunt and move Parker over to second, I suppose. Excuse me. Let's see if Segui can lay down a bunt. Here's the pitch. The bunt goes right back to the mound. The throw goes to first. Parker advances to second. And that is the second sacrifice of the inning. And now Gosger is the batter. With two outs and the runner in scoring position. Top of the ninth inning. Here's a full count pitch to Gosger. And that is inside. It is ball four. So Gosger takes his base. And now Glenn Beckert is the batter. Can we pinch hit for Glenn Beckert? I mean, we can. I don't know if it makes any sense. No, it really doesn't. I guess I could pinch it. Well, I'm not even going to do that. So, Beckert is going to face Baldston with two outs and two men on here in the top of the ninth inning. 1-1 one, one is the count. Here's the pitch. And a liner into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Rounding third and heading home is Parker. The throw comes home. The slide and Parker is safe. And the Cubs now have a 5-3 lead in the top of the ninth inning. So next up is Billy Williams, and a new Padre reliever will be brought in. This is Tommy Sisk. He's thrown 18 innings, 7 walks, 11 strikeouts, and an ERA of 5. Sisk facing Williams with two men on, two men out in the top of the ninth. And here is the 0-2 pitch to Billy Williams. Sisk looking for the sign, and here's the delivery. And a pop-up, short left field. Going back is the shortstop. He makes the catch and put it away. So the Padres now trail the Cubs by two going into the bottom of the ninth inning. Britton is going to be sat down. If we don't need him, we won't use him. Um, we do need a new catcher, and that is going to be Felski. So he's going to come in to catch. He'll bat third in the tenth inning if we end up going to that. So, Segui is going to face the 8, 9, and 1 batters in the Padres lineup here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here is the one ball count. Segui is going to deliver the pitch. And a grounder back toward the mound. The pitcher has it. He throws to first, and the runner is safe. Canazaro 
with a hustling play down the line, beats it out for an infield single. So now Ed Spezio is the batter. He's pinch hitting in the bottom of the ninth inning with a runner on first, nobody out. Spezio is batting 238 on the season with two home runs and seven RBIs. Here's an 0-2 pitch from Segui. And that is strike three called. Segui delivers the strikeout for the first out of the inning. Now we have Ollie Brown with one out, one man on. 1-1 one, one is the count, and Brown pops it up to right. Blomberg chasing toward the line. He's going to make the catch, which will be the second out of the inning. And now Tony Gonzalez comes up. The Padres are down to their final out with two outs and the runner on first. Segui facing Gonzalez with a 1-1 count. Here comes the pitch. Grounder toward short. Kessinger has it. He throws to second to get the lead runner, and that'll end the game. So the Cubs get win number seven in a row and take the first game of this doubleheader for the Padres. The Cubs getting five runs on 16 hits with no errors. The Padres, three runs on nine hits with three errors committed. The player of today's game is the Cubs' Bill Hands, although he does not get the win. He went six and two-thirds innings of seven-hit, three-run baseball with two walks and five strikeouts. Diego Segui, working two and a third innings of relief, allowed two hits, struck out three, and earns the win, his second of the season. The Padres' Al Santorini could be said to have scattered 12 hits over seven innings, three runs, only two earned, one walk, and one strikeout. And then Baldchen actually suffers the loss. He threw an inning and third of relief, four hits, two runs, two walks, and a strikeout. So the Cubs improving to 22 and 23, while the Padres drop to 7 and 38. Thank you for watching 1969 Baseball.